In this video, we're going to look at questions five and six from our semester exam review. In question number five, um, we're asked to draw a reference triangle that satisfies the given information and then use the triangle to find the requested values. So in, on these reference triangle questions, uh, the first question that you really need to answer is which quadrant should we be drawing our triangle in and which quadrant would we find the angle theta? So for A, they tell us here that sine theta is negative 12 over 13. And at this point, what's really important is to note that sine is negative. And so I know that sine is negative in quadrants 3 and 4. Um, they also tell us here that cosine theta is greater than zero, or cosine theta is positive. Well, I know that's true in quadrants one and four. So the one quadrant where both of those things are true is quadrant four. So that means my reference triangle needs to be in quadrant four. There we go. And now I'm going to go back to this first piece of information uh, that we were given that sine of theta is equal to negative 12 over 13. Now our theta is this angle right here. Uh, the sine is negative 12 over 13. And um, we need to remember that sine, the ratio, is equal to y over r. Um, and so for this triangle here, our y, that would be the vertical side here, which is going to be the negative 12 and R is 13, right here on our hypotenuse. The, I know that the negative goes with the 12 because your R, your radius, is never going to be negative. That's always going to be a positive number. So I need to find uh, the other side of this triangle, the third side up here, which would be my um, X value. And um, this is a 5, 12, 13 triangle. 5, 12, 13 is a Pythagorean triple, and so this side uh, would be 5. And it is uh, quadrant 4, and so the x should be positive, so it is going to be a positive 5. Alright, so now we're asked to find tangent theta, and we need to remember that tangent of theta is going to be equal to the y value over the x value. And so for this particular reference triangle, that's going to be negative 12 over 5. Alright, let's look at question B. Again, we're going to start uh, by figuring out which quadrant our angle is in. Where are we going to draw our reference triangle? Uh, we're told here that tangent of theta is negative 8 over 15. Again, what's important is that tangent theta is negative, and I know that that's true in quadrants 2 and 4. And then sine theta is less than zero, or sine theta is also negative, and that's true in quadrants three and four. And so again, uh, the one quadrant where both of these things are true is quadrant four. So we've got another quadrant four triangle here. There we go. And uh, the piece of information that we were given to start with is that tangent theta is equal to negative eight over 15. Uh, now remember, tangent theta is equal to y over x, so that 8 is going to be my y, 15 is going to be my x, so 15 and 8. And one of those needs to be negative because our tangent value is negative. Well, if I'm in quadrant 4, that means that uh, that y value is what's going to be negative. All right, and uh, we need to find the third side of this triangle, which is going to be the hypotenuse, or the R side. And this is an 8, 15, 17 triangle. 8, 15, 17 is another Pythagorean triple. So this side is going to be 17. And we're looking for cosine of theta. Well, cosine theta is going to be equal to the x value over the R value. And so for this particular triangle, that's equal to 15 over 17. All right, let's move on to question number six. Uh, here in this question, we're moving on to the topic of periodic functions. Uh, we have a graph of a periodic function that's shown, and the first question that's asked is, what is the period? Now, the period of this function is going to be um, the distance that it takes on the x-axis to complete a full cycle before this a function, this periodic function, starts repeating itself again. So if I start right here at zero, 
uh, my periodic function goes up and then down, back up, and here, and then right here, I'm back at zero, and then you can see um, that we start repeating the same pattern again. And so if I count um, the distance on the x-axis that corresponds to the length of the cycle, I've got one, two, three, four. Um, it takes four units on the x-axis to complete that cycle. And so that means that the period um, of this function is four. Now using that information, we're going to de uh, determine the following function values, values that would happen in the future um, off of the graph that we have using this information that our period is equal to four. So for example, f of 12, so if my x-coordinate is 12, I notice that 12 is a multiple of 4. And every 4 units, I end up right back at 0. At 0, I'm at 0. At 4, we're at 0. At 8, we're at 0. And that means when x is 12, the function value, again, is going to be 0. Now for 15, f of 15. For this function, I want to think about... I'm going to erase our work here. Um, I want to think about a number that's close to 15 that's divisible by 4. And the first number that comes to my mind is 16. I know that 16 is divided by 4, and I know every 4 units I'm going to be right back here at 0. And so when, I, when my x value is equal to 16, we're going to be here at 0. And that means I want to back up 1 unit to 15. That would correspond to this point right here on our function, and the function value would be at 1. f of 38. Again, we want to think about a number close to 38 that's divisible by 4. Uh, the first one that comes to my mind is 36. So I know when I hit um, the x value of 36, my function is going to be here at 0 at the beginning um, or the end of a period, whichever way you want to look at it. And 38, that's going to be two units past 36. So I'm going to go one unit, two units past 36. This is where my x-coordinate would be 38. And the function value is going to be negative 2. Finally, f of negative 21. So this time we're moving in the negative direction. Um, a value close to 21, negative 21 that's divisible by 4 would be negative 20. And so I know that at negative 20, I should be here at 0 at the beginning or the end of a cycle. And so negative 21 is going to be one unit in the negative direction away from 20, which would correspond to this function value of 1.